Just watching here now with uh, Terry Nightingale going through the kink of the oh. chase. Two wheels there, of course, and uh, into some lap traffic. This has actually brought uh, Morecambe closer to him. So this is going to be a real battle now with some more lap traffic. He has a look down the side. He has a serious look down the inside here and will actually give him uh, some room to go through there. But Terry taking it to the ripple strip and trying to just get a little bit more acceleration here. But he may have the run up on the inside here for turn one. And this will be for oh. the effective race lead. Look at that. Oh, this is good racing. And they split the lap car around the middle and Nightingale just squeezed out wide. Keeps the boot into it, but loses the race lead. What an exchange. That was extraordinary. And they just went right around the outside of the MPA Projects Commodore. And Morecambe went down the inside. Used him as a pick, kind of, to wrestle the lead away. But what a fight. Nightingale gave absolutely no quarter there. With Nathan Morecambe has now wrestled away. And Terry Nightingale is locked into the rear bar of the BMW now. I think he's really impressed about what happened during that exchange not helped by a lapped car not quite understanding which side he was supposed to go to deal with the leaders because you're supposed to let the leader through but when the leaders are two cars and they're side by side i'm i wonder if going letting go either side is perhaps the nicest way you can do that and i tell you what terry did a remarkable job of actually keeping that car off the concrete wall because at that particular point of the circuit there's little access roads so the level of the circuit sort of undulates at that particular point and he did a remarkable job now you can see that a moment ago that the oil flags are out down there at this particular part of the circuit oh Ooh. terry had a huge moment right at the turning for the kink and uh, right on that oil you would probably say so he is a lucky boy he's having some moments here at the moment but pushing hard and I reckon this battle is going to seesaw over the course of the next probably, say, 10 to 20 minutes, particularly when you've got traffic, and you can see that once again as the cars come back into Murray's corner. Morecambe's trying to thread himself through some of this traffic here, but Terry's not having any of that as well. He has got the headlights on, and he's blazing. Just have a look here at the pass once again, this whole passage of play that happened here. So Morecambe down the inside. Terry holding, gave him enough room, though, out onto the ripple strip. Lucky not to go onto the dirt there. Then, of course, we've got this lap car who's moved to the centre of this circuit and then look at this Morecambe just goes up the inside under brakes uses that car as a, I guess you could say a blocker Terry a little bit hot into there as well out onto the dirt and as you said Brian very lucky to actually bring it back there it's all grass but all class <laughs> exactly well said there Benny well said I'll give you some points for that one